welcome back to the channel my name is Casey if you're new here welcome to my first what's for dinner video I've been dying to make these this video before and I finally am just like I'm gonna do it so what else to start with one of my favorite meals I'm gonna be making chicken cutlet tonight with Puerto Rican beans with jasmine rice I'm excited sorry I always do a little dance just spice up my little video anyway so we're gonna make that tonight. There will be, there's going to be two more other meals in this video, and I'm excited, so let's get started. My hair's all messed up. First things first, I start with my rice because rice takes like 20 minutes to cook, and I'd rather it simmer on the low and get all that water out while I'm doing everything else than having to worry about it last and it's not ready. So I have three cups of water in this pot, and I'm just going to boil it. Oh, I'm gonna boil it and then once it's up to a boil then you add I'm adding two cups of rice I'm doubling my rice recipe tonight because I'm be making fried homemade fried rice in a few days which is also going to be in this video but for fried rice you need leftover rice so that's why we're going to double it tonight so we have it for the next meal okay now for the Puerto Rican um, beans I use Goya pink beans or I use Great Value red beans. Just, they're basically the same thing. This is just what I had. I use half a can of tomato sauce. You're gonna need some oregano, salt and pepper, adobo, sasson. You can use accent. If you don't have it, it's okay. And then also sofrito, which is a Puerto Rican homemade seasoning. It's, I just, it, we keep it frozen. I just microwaved it to thaw it out. You need about two tablespoons of it. If you don't know how to make this or you don't know what I'm talking about, Goya sells it in the freezer section. You can buy it. It's not as good as the homemade. There will be a video showing you how to make this on my channel eventually. Unfortunately, Lou made it the other day and I wasn't home, so I didn't get it on video but next time he makes it I'll definitely show you guys so you need about two tablespoons of that and then you need a medium to small to medium potato which I cut up just a russet potato and you also need three-fourths cup of water and I'll tell you how much of the seasonings I don't measure any of it I just so I'm sorry about that but and it, you do need two tablespoons of sofrito so first I'm going to put my pan on like medium high heat then I'm gonna add my two tablespoons of sofrito which I basically you can't see it basically have that in here so I'm just gonna add this whole thing and then it's a little bit frozen so you just want it to kind of um, cook down a little bit and to that, I'm going to add, let me show you guys. Let me turn it over. I have that falling out in the pot. I'm going to add the oregano. I'm going to add the sasson, salt and pepper, and the tomato sauce, and stir it up and I'll try. I have everything added. I'm just gonna kind of let it simmer all together for a minute. Sorry, you can't see it. It's terrible. Okay, I added half a can of tomato sauce around four ounces. I'm just gonna cook these together for just a few seconds. Let me turn it down. And then to this, I'm going to add the beans. I don't drain my beans. You can if you want to. I don't find it's necessary. Don't at me. Okay, and Gonna add my potato that I cut up. And I'm going to add three fourths cup of water. Sorry. And I'm going to mix this all together. And I'm going to bring this to a boil. We need the potatoes to go ahead and cook. So we're just gonna leave this uncovered around medium heat and just let it cook the potatoes down. Meanwhile, the rice is boiling. So I'm going to add my two cups of rice. 
going to give this a stirage. We're going to put the rice on simmer and cover it for about 20 minutes. Just really quick, I wanted to add that while your rice is cooking, leave the cover on it the entire time. And also while the beans are simmering, make sure you stir them occasionally, not too much. And then in about 15 minutes or so, we'll stir them again, add the adobo, and then let them continue to cook for another 10 to 15 minutes, just depending on how the potatoes are looking. So now I'm going to cut up my chicken and I'll show you exactly how I bread it. Okay, I cut up my chicken, as you can see here. It's not the most even of pieces, but it is what it is. <laughs> so from here, I'm going to season my chicken with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And I'm also going to stab holes in them with the, with the fork. So, pepper, salt, and garlic. And what I mean by that is I'm just going to... literally stab them. So I'm going to do that to all of them and then I'm going to flip them over, season the other side, and then I'll show you how I bread them. Okay, I have my chicken cut up and ready right here seasoned. And I have a bowl of flour which I seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic, and adobo. I have three eggs that I mixed up. And breadcrumbs I combined regular Italian with Italian panko and it just gives a nice crunch. And then I have my oil, about this much oil in a pot. I'm going to put it on medium because you don't want it to get too hot. You don't want the chicken to burn. So I'm gonna have that on medium. My beans are boiling. I'm just gonna stir them up and turn these to low. Like that. So we'll just keep an eye on the beans, heat up the oil while we bread the chicken, I'll show you what I do with one hand, pick a small one. So just grab the chicken with your fork, dip it in the flour on both sides. I like to make sure it gets nice and floury. Shake off the excess, dip it in the egg on both sides. It's kind of hard with one hand. Okay, make sure it gets nice and eggy and then dip it into the breadcrumbs and I like to shake it when it's in there. And then flip it over to the same thing. And then the oil's not hot yet, so I'm just gonna set the chicken on this plate and wait for the oil to get hot. So I'm gonna do the same thing for all these chickens and I'll show you when I'm done. My chickens are breaded. I have four of them in the oil. Like I said, I keep it on medium and then I just wait until like the bottom looks like it's browning and then I turn it and then once the other side looks like it's browning, then I use the thermometer and I check it to make sure it's 165 degrees. So I'll show you that once that is done. I already put adobo in my beans, so they're simmering again. I think I messed up on my rice. It's looking a little weird, but I'm letting it sit and we'll find out when the time comes. So now we're just waiting for the chicken to fry up and I'm gonna clean up this mess. I wanted to show, so you can tell that the bottom is getting brown. And I'll lift one up and show you. So it looks kind of like golden. I'm gonna flip it over now and just let it cook on the other side. Sorry for the chicken that's being around, but I just flushed my rice with a fork and it feels just fine. I was worried for nothing. So good fluffy rice. I'm just gonna um, turn the heat off and put the lid back on. Just let it chill out until we are ready to eat. And I'm just gonna let this. Um, continue to simmer with the lid off so it doesn't get too cold. Oh, chicken's beeping. Okay, all my chicken is fried up. One of them is a little bit crispier than the other. Waiting on the last chicken. 
So I'm gonna plate it up and I'll show you what it looks like. So here is the final product. We have chicken cutlet with Puerto Rican beans over jasmine rice. And I always add hot sauce, and this is my favorite, Cholula. So I'm gonna go enjoy this with Liv. For dinner number two, we're doing these leg quarters from our local store. They already seasoned them with barbecue seasoning. So I'm just going to put them on my nonstick pad and put them in the oven cover for about an hour and a half. And then I'll take them out, take the foil off and cook them for another 30 minutes. I'll show you while I do that. I just wanted to tell you guys because I'm it's only four o'clock right now, so at 5.30 I'm gonna take it out, take the cover off and cook it again, and then I'll show you what sides we're gonna have with it. I forgot to say, you put it in the oven at 350 degrees on a nonstick baking pad and cover it with foil. Okay, the chicken just came out. It was in there for an hour and a half. I'm going to put it back in uncovered, and then for our sides we're only having French style green beans and baked beans. Really easy, and I'll show you when it's all plated up and done. Okay, here's what it looks like. I added some barbecue sauce the last two minutes of cooking on the chicken, and it only took an additional 10 minutes to get the skin crispy. So a total of an hour and 40 minutes for the chicken, and then I just warmed up some baked beans and some green beans. Hello, it's night number three. Tonight we're having this Tyson grilled sweet teriyaki chicken. I put, we put this in the air fryer for six minutes, flip it, do another six minutes, so a total of 12 to 13 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. And then I'm gonna be also making some homemade fried rice with the leftover jasmine rice from the previous dinner we had the other day. So it's gonna be really yummy. Let's get into it. Okay, now we're gonna start the fried rice. I have the camera in a really weird situation, so I can't really get the angle quite right, but I will tell you what you need. You're going to need three cups of already cooked jasmine rice, which I'm just gonna use this whole thing. It's probably a little bit more than three cups, but it's okay. You need one tablespoon of vegetable oil. You'll need two cloves of garlic. I use the jar minced garlic. You'll need, the recipe I use calls for one fourth of an onion cut up, but I, Lou doesn't like onions, so I don't use onions. You can if you want to. One cup frozen peas and carrots. I already measured it out. You need, um, the recipe calls for two eggs. I use three because I like a lot of eggs in my fried rice. You'll need three tablespoons of soy sauce and I always dab in a little extra more, which you'll see. And of course, salt and pepper, and this is a salt and pepper combination we already mixed. And now we're gonna start cooking it. So, you'll need a wok or just a regular size pan. I'm gonna put the one tablespoon of oil in here, heat it up, and then add the two cloves of garlic and I will show you. Okay, sorry, I have to have the angle like this in order for you guys to see the wok. Okay, so I have it on medium heat. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And I'm gonna heat that up. And while it's heating up, I'm going to add two cloves of garlic, which one clove of minced garlic is half a teaspoon. So I'm gonna add two half teaspoons of minced garlic. I guess that equals one teaspoon. Funny. All right. So now I'm going to stir this and let it cook for about two to three minutes. Okay, the garlic has been cooking for about two minutes now. Now you're gonna add your one cup of frozen peas and carrots. And just mix that in and you will cook it until it's partially thawed. I feel like woks cook stuff a little bit faster. So it might take less than two minutes, but just keep an eye on it, as long as there's no more like frosties on it or it doesn't appear to be too cold, you know what I'm saying. So, those are thawing out. So now we're gonna turn our heat up to medium high. And for the rice, before I add it into the wok, I took a fork and just broke it up because I'm, you know, sometimes rice can like get clumped together in the fridge. So I just kind of broke it up so it's easier when I put it into the pan. So I'm just gonna give this, these veggies a quick little stir 
And then I'm going to add the rice. gracefully. <laughs> Definitely more than three cups, but at least it won't be wasted. And then just mix it all together with the oil and the garlic and the peas and carrots. All right, so this Mix it all together and this is gonna to cook together for about two to three minutes until the rice is hot and starts to turn brown. Okay, the rice has been heating up for more about five or so minutes, not two to three, more like five. And now you're gonna reduce the heat to like a medium low. And you want, I don't know if you can make sure you see this. You're gonna push all the rice to the sides of the pan, creating a circle in the middle. like that. And then you're gonna crack the eggs directly into the, the center of the wok. I'm cracking them over a bowl so I don't get any shells in there. Okay, then I'm gonna scramble them up with the fork. And I'm gonna let them cook in the middle for a few minutes. And then once they're cooked, then you mix it all together with the rice. And I'm gonna take this time to add salt and pepper. So I'm gonna add from this already mixed salt and pepper and garlic that Lou had made. I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of it. And then at the end, if we need more, then I'll add more. I'm just gonna do it all over the top. I'm gonna do a little bit more. All right. So I'm just gonna mix the rice up to kind of scramble it, I mean the eggs in the middle. I'm gonna bring the camera down so you guys can see. So the eggs are kind of scrambling in the middle and the rice is all around them. And I'm just gonna stir the eggs again and wait till they're all the way scrambled and mix them with the rice. Okay, my eggs have been all mixed in. Now I'm gonna add my three tablespoons of soy sauce and you'll see that I'm gonna add some extra. And I use the low sodium soy sauce. It's kind of redundant though because I add so much salt, but whatever. Oh. One, two, Three. And I'm gonna put this whole thing back on. And do that. Now I'm gonna mix this all together. And that is homemade fried rice, my friends. I will give you a close up. Hold. Hold, please. There you have it. Delicious homemade fried rice. And I will show you my plate when I have the chicken on it as well. Okay, I tasted it. And it does need a little bit more of a spice. So I'm just gonna add an, another half teaspoon of this salt and pepper garlic mixture. You can just add salt and pepper if you want to. like a flavorful you know so I'll give you a final taste test in just a second here is the final dinner I got a little carried away with these they're a little a little bit burnt but tastes just as good and here's my fried rice and I'm gonna add sriracha and enjoy it okay so that's gonna be the end of this what's for dinner video I hope you enjoyed it I know that the camera angles might not have been the best, but this is my first one, so I will try to work on those. And I will, like I said, I will continue to do these every other Thursday, and the Thursdays in between, I will continue to do grocery hauls, and I will still be uploading on Saturdays as normal. 
But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys have tried these recipes and if you like them and if you tweaked them in any way, comment down below, let me know. Otherwise, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.